Hello again. Do you realize it seems like our weeks are just flying by? It seems like it was just yesterday uh, we met together in this form, and now here we are back together again. Patricia and I were talking about uh, how fast time seems to be flying these days. I don't know if it's because of our age or what it is, but uh, here we are again together to share in today's sermon. I want to read from a familiar passage, John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. Amen. This coming week, Tuesday, is Valentine's Day. And I really kind of hope you're excited about that. I, I really am uh, excited about it myself. We have some plans. Um, but uh, I, I, Valentine's is just one of those days that uh, uh, we kind of overlook sometimes. How many love songs can you, can you name? How many love songs can actually... Uh, find yourself in your, in your heart. Now, in our church, we probably have at least three generations. So together, as we come together, we ought to be able to come up with a lot of love songs, right? So it's, I'm going to name a few. Where do I begin? The theme song from Love Story. Loving You by Minnie Ripperton. The Guy's in Love with You by Burt Bacharach. The Power of Love by Celine Dion. Just Called to Say I Love You by Stevie Wonder. I Can't Help But Falling in Love with You Elvis Presley. She Loves You, Yeah, by The Beatles. I Think I Love You the Partridge Family. I want to dance with somebody who loves me. By Whitney Houston. Love will keep us together. The Captain and Tennille. Roses are red, my love. By Bobby Fenton. Crazy in Love by Beyonce. To Serve with Love. The Movie. By Lulu. The Best of My Love by the Emotions. How Deep Is Your Love by the Bee Gees. Endless Love by Lionel Richie. An Unchained Melody by the Righteous Brothers. And there are probably hundreds and hundreds more uh, songs about love that I just can't even begin to mention here in, in this time period that we have. But it, love is an interesting thing, isn't it? I mean, we have to admit to ourselves that love is an interesting thing. We talk a lot about love. And Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, we will dedicate a lot of time, uh, the whole day, to celebrating love. Why? Because it's Valentine's Day. Before Patricia and I go to sleep every night, we say to each other, I love you. I love you. I love you. Those three words can be said very easily, but sometimes they can be so hard to be lived out. Yet even at that, I don't believe love ever really disappears from our relationship. Because relationships built on love are truly rock solid. And they, they, they do not, it does not give away in the storms of life. But it's not just any love. Let me repeat that. It's not just any love. There are three Greek words for love. Philos, P-H-I-L-O-S, which is brotherly love. Sometimes called the love between friends, like Philadelphia. Eros, E-R-O-S, -E meaning passionate or sensual love. And then there's the best of all, agape. A-G-A-P-E. It is the strongest of all loves. 
It's the kind of love that God has for you and, and me. Do you remember the, those little cartoons that used to be in the paper? Uh, it portrays a, two, a little boy and a little girl. And then the caption always says, the top of it says, love is, and then down at the bottom it kind of, kind of gives you a definition of what love is. Today, again, I want us to think about it. I want us to think about a little bit and get to know a little bit more about God's love and for us. And believe me, his love is so much more. His love is so much more than we could ever imagine. And those three words sometimes thrown around, we throw them around so easily. There's a little depth. And no, very little truth in the words. What does the Bible say about God's love? We need to realize God's love takes many forms throughout the stories we read in Scripture. Parts of the Bible refer to God as love. God is love. And you ask the question, do you think of God as someone or is God something? There's a simple answer. Here it is in simple terms. God loves you and his love is his very nature. Therefore, you and I do not have to work for his affection. We don't have to work for God's love. We don't have to have everything just right, thinking that if we do some, something just right, if we have everything together, God will love us. Romans 5, 8 says, God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were yet sinners, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's the way it works. God is, God is so ready to pour out his love on each and every one of us. We, we have to make the decision. What we have to make the decision to do is to receive his love. I want you to hear this once again. Hear it out loud. Hear it well. God absolutely loves you. Wow. Wrap your mind around that. It's hard to get our minds wrapped around that idea, but it's true. God loves you. That's the point where our faith journey begins. Is when we begin to understand beyond the shadow of a doubt that God loves us. God loves us. And that's where we begin our faith journey. Without the assurance of God's love, our journey will not last. There is nothing, and I repeat, there is nothing, there is nothing, there is nothing more powerful than God's love. There are some extremely important things we need to remember about God's love. We need to remember that God's love is unconditional. No strings attached. We cannot do anything. We cannot do anything to earn God's love. But yet on the other hand, we cannot do anything to stop God's love. Expressions of God's love are found throughout the Bible. We are commanded to repent of our sins and move closer to God and the way he wants us to go. But even at that, God never, ever stops loving us. Let me, let me, let me remind you uh, the, how deep God's love is for you. And it's, in order to do so, we need to explore some of the passages and gives us a grasp on the reality of God's love. The first scripture we normally think of when we think about love and God's love is the one we read today, John 3, 16. It's my favorite passage of scripture. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And whoever, let me repeat that, whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Everyone who has been born of God knows what love is. You know what, you want to know what, what, what love looks like? Get to know God. For God is love and God is from God. Love is from God. Love is God. We need to allow his love to heal us. We need to allow his love to transform us. We need to allow his love to free us and lead us into abundant and everlasting life that belongs to us through God himself. Did you realize there are so many Bible verses about God's love, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. So let me share some. In, in Psalm 136, 26, give thanks to God of heaven. His love endures forever. His love is not here today and gone tomorrow. 
Isn't that great? His love is not here today and gone tomorrow. Psalm 36, 7, how priceless is your unfailing love, O God. People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. I love the symbolism of that, of that passage. His love is priceless, unfailing, uh, and we take refuge. When Paul wrote the Corinthians, he said among the three things, among all of, all of life, three things will remain, faith, hope, and love. But then he goes on to say, the greatest of these is love. To help us to remember how much God loves us, how much he showed his love among us, we can go to 1 John 4, 9 and 10. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. And John goes on to say, this is not love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his, his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Why is God so, why is his love so powerful? When we are, when we are touched and filled with God's love, we can do and see and, and understand. We can, when we can, are filled with his love, we can do, we can endure pain just like Paul did. His love quietens our fears and he freely and renews our strength, he forgives. And when we feel his love, we can, we can bless and we can help others. We can share with them the love, the same love that we also have received from God. Amen. Happy Valentine's Day. Father, thank you for the love you share with us. The love that you give to us. We thank you for the love that you poured out for us through Jesus Christ and his blood shed on the cross for our sins. Help us to remember what this love really looks like and how much you care for us. Give us the strength to know that love. We love you, Jesus. Amen.